So raise your hand if you ever felt left out at school. I used to worry about how I looked, how I dressed, how I acted. Mostly about how I looked. I mean, I remember my daughter, she said, Mom, most of the people in the world are brown. How come most of the people on TV are white? I think self-empowerment, self-worth for young girls of color is critical. And it's really lacking in our media. It's really lacking in our educational system. So how do we create alternative spaces where that can happen? What makes the Radical Monarchs different is that we focus on issues that specifically affect young women of color. I came in thinking we're going to sell cookies and it's going to be like the typical, you know, troop thing. I didn't know that we'd be learning to love for yourself for who you are. I'm the main breadwinner in my family and it's a lot of pressure. We get inundated with requests. People be like, we want a troop here, we want a troop there, and we're like, we do too, and we have no budget right now. <laughs> We've been running our own troop, building our organization, and working our full-time jobs. It's so hard to keep saying, no, we're sorry, we're not ready yet, we're sorry, we're not ready yet, but it's real. If we are really going to be about evolving this society, then we need to teach social justice now like we teach STEM subjects. Well, there's a new brownie troop in California, and these girls aren't selling cookies or learning to sew. We think they're being exploited. Wouldn't it be better for them to learn friendship skills? Would you want your kids being a part of a group like that? Something I've learned from our Radical Monarch sisters is that if you like really work together, if something is a big problem, you can make anything happen. We are here on behalf of the Radical Monarchs. We get to kind of make history, or her story, as we like to say it. And we get to be one tiny little part of it. Because we all know that a lot of tiny parts can equal one big part.